Hey, everybody. Today, I want to talk to you about how you speak with God. And uh, toward that end, this one's going to be kind of serious. This is one that I'd like to challenge you even right now. Uh, as you listen, I'd like you to respond. So this time, I'd like uh, you to respond not just with likes. I'd like you to consider what do you concretely agree with or what do you want to take issue with? Because this one, I think, is kind of serious. Um, I'd like you to respond with benefit. Don't come after me needlessly, but do think about it because how we talk to God is important. And I've got some things I'd like to share. Um, I believe we could all use an upgrade in how we communicate with God. So I want us to consider how we speak to God and learn how to speak actually with God. So first, I want to encourage that when you're praying, whether you're praying just yourself to God or whether you're praying with someone else or with a group or praying for someone, take a beat. Get your bearings. You are actually talking to the God of the universe, not just the universe. The universe is the God of everything. Take a beat and realize who you're talking to and talk to them appropriately. Now, listen, when you listen to other people pray, or even when you consider how you pray, this, I think, could be a little tough, this message I want to share. If you're going to talk to God, you want to talk with honor. Honor that's appropriate to the throne of God. You're going to God. Take some time to worship. By that, I don't mean sing songs, though that can be part of what you're doing. But worship, he is the creator, the sustainer of galaxies and microscopic creatures and nations. Recognize that he's the interpreter of your life. He invented you. He interprets your life. He's going to judge your life. He's the healer. He's the one who gives you direction. Recognize who you're speaking to. Express trust when you pray, that you trust God and speak straightforwardly, not just a bunch of words. Instead, try to communicate well. What do I mean? Well, you're communicating with God as a son or a daughter. Communicate as if you are communicating with your father in heaven, but also you're communicating with God as an ambassador, as one who is sent to the very places that you live, the place that you live, the place that you work, the relational things. God is the one who has sent you. Go and speak with him as the as an ambassador looking for resource, looking for insight. Communicate well. Take the time to communicate your thoughts in an ordered way, not just haphazard, blah, 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 blah. No, in an ordered way. Try not to ramble. Try not to repeat his name over and over. Some people pray, Lord, Lord, Lord. You wouldn't talk to somebody that way. You wouldn't talk to a president of a company or a president of the United States or a king repeating their name again and again. Don't ramble. Present your thoughts in an ordered way not using words or even his name as kind of a filler, present yourself well. When you pray, there's not really need for hype and getting yourself into a frenzy or kind of conjuring up his presence. That's on the edge of witchcraft. Instead, speak plainly. Speak as if you were speaking to a person, but a person of honor, someone that you respect. Upgrade your language. Don't downgrade your language. Talk as if you mean it and as if it's important, as if it's actually going to make a difference. Pray like you mean what you're saying. You have an opportunity. You have an audience with the king of the universe every time you pray. Do it well. If you're making your case of why you believe what you need to pray for is real,
do it well. Don't try to control or manipulate or make deals with God. Present honestly, again, as a representative of his kingdom, as a son or daughter, in honesty. But you don't want to just talk to him. Once you've learned how to present yourself to God, you want to learn how to talk with God. And that's where Jesus, when he says for us to pray, and he says, so pray, saying, our Father, he's describing an intimate relationship with God. So yes, he's king of the universe. Yes, he's president or leader or authority of all things. Yet there's also a familial intimacy. So come to God with, a, with an honesty in your soul and honesty in your mind, um, and also an emotional honesty. I, I like to use the expression that we want to be present to God. We want to be present to ourselves, and we want to be present to others in life. Now we're talking about prayer. Be present to God, but also be present to yourself and emotionally honest with who you really are or the state of your soul when you come to speak to God honestly. In James chapter 1, it says to be quick to listen and slow to speak. And that's talking about speaking to people and be slow to become angry. But I want to encourage the same thing in coming to God. Be quick to listen to God. Now, we're not just presenting ourselves or our requests or our points to God. We are actually want to be quick to listen to God. And slow to speak, and honest when we speak, and humble when we speak. You're speaking to God. Yes, there's an intimate relationship, but yes, he's God, ruler of all things. And so to do that, to be slow to speak and quick to listen, you need to learn how to listen to God, and it takes practice. First, it takes faith to believe that you can even hear from God. And then it takes practice, a lot of practice, learning to be still, learning to be aware of the impressions that you get, maybe jotting and journaling them, because you are becoming quick to listen. You're looking for his voice, and you're learning. Some of it's a little bit trial and error. Some of it's being still. One good thing, if you're a journaler and you journal what you think he might be saying, you can always check that with scripture or with those who you think are maybe more mature than you in faith. We want to grow as listeners. So we want to be quick to listen to God's voice. That's actually one of the deepest aspects of prayer. We want to present our requests or present our prayer well. We want to speak well to God, but we also, if we're going to speak with God, we want to learn to listen. And when we learn to listen, we're going to have opportunity to learn afresh, in fresh ways, who we really are, who God says that we are. Then out of that space, a sense of your identity in him, as a son, daughter, ambassador, placed where you've been placed, with his authority, with his presence, not hyping it up, not, no, just receiving, being honest with it, then out of that space, you can live and you can speak to others authentically with God, not just authentically, and this is how I feel, authentically, and this is how I feel with God's presence, because I've worked it out. So I wanted to bring those things to you because I see a lot of like praying that I'm not all that excited about. <clears throat> Excuse me. I see a lot of praying where people are praying out of frenetic energy and frenzied and claiming and uh, 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 lots of words and all that. That there, We don't have to. We can learn to speak to God well and honestly. So what I want to, again, ask for you to consider like kind of call to action is I'd like you to consider responding to this little teaching. Only if you're receiving something or you have something that is concrete to respond to. Maybe God has spoken to you in either how you speak with God 
Are you honoring and worshiping God? Do you speak with trust? Are you speaking straightforwardly? Are you speaking well in an ordered way with some logic to it as a son or daughter, also as an ambassador? Without hype, without frenzy, conjuring up something or trying to make something happen or manipulating God. Those would be some erroneous ways to pray. But clear, ordered, honoring, humble. Is that what your language sounds like? Is that the attitude that you bring that you kind of, you know, I had one friend that would actually dress up sometimes just to pray because he wanted to remind himself, I'm coming to God. How about the you're speaking with God when you pray? Is there an intimacy that you're speaking with your father? Is there an honesty and an honesty, uh, an emotional presence and a, an emotional honesty that you're coming to God with? Are you learning to listen to God? I want to encourage you again that I believe God is calling all of us to upgrade our prayer life, to upgrade how we pray, how we understand our prayer, and to be better at praying. May God even use this little dialogue, you might even call it a rant, or you may call it correction, or you may call it me submitting ideas to you. May God use this little thing to spark better praying in you. If you have any thoughts, feel free to comment. Have a great day. Bye-bye.